Welcome to Bosch TV. It's Tuesday. It's 6 p.m. Which means it's time for another life. And today we have got something absolutely delicious for you to feast your eyes upon and hopefully to cook with us. They are brand new recipe from our brand new book, Speedy Bosch. This is tofu satay kebabs that we're going to wrap up in these little lettuce tacos. I mean, and also it comes with satay. I mean, this is a good recipe. You're going to love this recipe. And if you didn't know, my name's Ian Thiesby. The man behind me is Henry Firth. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Mm -hmm. And before you ask, we live together and we are on lockdown together. And we decided a couple of weeks ago that we'd start cooking life for you. Yeah, so we're going to be here for the next 27 minutes. Ian's cooking these tofu kebabs. They're from our Speedy Bosch book, by the way. Mm -hmm. We'll pop a link to that if you want to get hold of that. We'll be here. Ian's cooking this. I'm doing the tech. And if you give me one second, I've got to put Instagram live. Oh, yes, the Instagram gang. We can't forget about those guys. Uh, yeah, so we're live on YouTube, we're live on Facebook, and we are now live on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. So we're all here together, one big digital vegan family. We are going to cook some wonderful food for Instagram's benefit. These are tofu satay kebabs, and if you want a better screen, go to YouTube or Facebook, because there's four cameras where you only get one. Right, guys, I'm going to shift this, and then I'm going to start the process. Hello everybody, so this is camera number two. I'm gonna be sat here. I've got the pleasure of watching Ian cook. Um, I've also got the pleasure of having Kathy in my ear, producer Kathy. Um, so she is gonna be uh, giving us your questions. So if you drop your comments in there, we will get to your questions um, as we see fit. So do let us know your thoughts as we go. And just a reminder, this is Bosch Live. We're here every night, Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. British summertime, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, BST. <laughs> All the way through April. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. And if you do want to cook along, you can find the ingredients on our website. The cool thing is we've got all of these lovely cameras that we make Bosch videos on, and we've worked out how to make them live. So Ian, right now, is, like, this is literally behind yeah. the scenes there in is a Bosch video. <laughs> right, so if we go to the top cam, we can see that these, what we have here is, um, a blender and what we're going to do is make satay sauce so if you're cooking along now get all the satay ingredients that were on our website and uh, yeah let's crack on first things first we've got some crunchy peanuts butter and that is going into our blender jug next up uh, we have got some rice wine now there's only a little bit of it but it's really really necessary because it just gives this really nice kind of um, acidic tang um, a very sort of um, traditional, authentic flavour that will really make that satay stand out. Then we've got some soy sauce, which is for saltiness and obviously for wonderful colour. Um, and what else have we got here? This is just water. Water to make it, um, yeah, this is just water just to make um, like the consistency of the satay sauce nice and loose. I'm just going to leave that there. Now, I've got a lime here. I forgot to chop it, so I'm going to chop it right now. <laughs> So at this point, basically, we're making a quick satay sauce, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you, that's you, right. This could go with any dish. Yeah, this, really. this absolutely could go with any dish. Um, do you know what would be really cool? If you just had some noodles yeah. and uh, some maybe some julienne carrots or something like that, nice. really, really nice. So look, just chop my uh, lime up. I'm going to squeeze it. You don't need to catch any pips because limes don't have any pips, right? So I'm going to squeeze that in there like so. The satay is like your favourite thing, isn't it? Oh, mate, I absolutely love satay. Yeah, if you were to like chop my arm, yeah. Satay would dribble out. Yeah, he's gonna name his uh, firstborn Satay for. <laughs> satay, Satay for. Yeah, Satay, Satay. Right, so uh, all the lime from that is a very juicy lime actually. Fair play to that lime. It's got game. Right, so that juicy lime is in that uh, wonderful blender, and this is um, sriracha. Sriracha is a chili sauce that hails from the east, and it's gonna be perfect in here. So we're gonna pop that in now. So all of those things are up to one side. And next up, we are going to stick our lid on the blender. And we're going to give this bad boy a little whizzy. So, and just for the benefit of, because we are currently, what we're trying to do is make a live Bosch video. And so Kat, who produced Kat, who's in Henry's ear, when she's editing this video together, she's going to need different camera angles. And one of the camera angles she's going to need is the one that Henry has just created right there. Hey, okay. there we go. Happy with that, Ian? <laughs> I like that. That's that good. good angle? That was a great angle. Kat, are you happy? I hope you are. Right, uh, three, two, one. Let's do it. Yeah. 
That's it. Okay, good. Now. This is, well, before it was just a selection of ingredients, now it is a wonderful satay sauce. And um, I am going to, just to save a little bit of time, uh, I'm just going to pour it straight in here to show you. So it's a really nice kind of saucy consistency. Imagine that with some noodles, or even better still, imagine this as a dipping sauce for tofu kebabs. That's what we're doing here, guys. Yes. That is what we are doing here. Right. I just had a message uh, from Produce Cathy in my ear saying that the audio was out of sync for YouTube viewers. Sorry if so, um, I think it's probably a YouTube thing, hopefully. Um, that's gonna sort itself out. And uh, we, um, any more questions, you wanna drop them in there, we will get to them at an opportune moments, like when Ian is doing a, a minor little set change, as is happening right now. That's correct <laughs> If you oh, are new to this, this is Bosch. We're Bosch Live, I'm Henry, he's Ian, and we are making the tofu satay kebabs. Now, the kebabs are super duper healthy because what we're trying to do, rather than use bread or corn tortillas or anything like this, we're gonna use these. Now this is a little baby gem lettuce and there's a really nice easy technique that we're going to use um, to, to basically turn this into little canoes that will keep our wonderful little tofu kebabs nicely wrapped. And um, here we go, I'm just dressing that set so it looks kind of cool. This is what we're going to do, okay? We've got our lettuce here and we're going to very, very simply, it's like real simple, chop off the bottom like so. There's a really nice trick here. Now you can take this you can take this right here and you can actually plant this, okay? And what will happen here is like this will sprout and turn into another lettuce. Wow. How cool is that? It's mad. Like zero waste? Yeah, forget it. We, we're growing things here. So we you definitely need to try that in. Yeah, uh, well, I remember I did try it before and it's like it, <laughs> yeah. comes, it comes out and uh, yeah, it's, it's a genius little did thing. Did you do it with this though? Or was that the spring onions? I've done the spring onions yeah. and I've done this before with that one time before. But yeah, so if you've got kids and they're wondering where food comes from, great things to do to show them how things grow. So, real, sim real simple now, yeah? We've basically chopped off the thing at the root. And now we're just gonna put, like, peel off the leaves, and each one of these leaves is gonna form a really, really nice little way to wrap up some uh, a tofu baton that's been flavored like we're about to show you how to do. So that's one of those done. Now you get the general gist. If you're making it at home, we're gonna, we're gonna go real quick through the next one. Again, let's get the root off. Pop that to one side. Put speedy this back in. Speedy now, mate. Speedy for Speedy Bosch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, here we go. So we just peel these off like so, and they are going to be a really easy, fun, healthy way to eat um, these kebabs that we'll show you how to make in a second. That's gonna go there. Now we've got some red chili. Real simple way. Chop off the, uh, the top, chop it down the middle, get rid of all of these seeds. I'm gonna put the seeds in this, um, this, this glass here, okay? Just gonna uh, get rid of all of those like that. That pith is the uh, is the really spicy stuff, but I shouldn't worry about that. Now, let's get our knife through the chili. Okay, this is just gonna give a little bit of heat. It's gonna obviously give some really nice color to the tofu kebabs. I'm gonna pop that to one side. And now we have got the same thing that we're gonna do, run our knife through the spring onions, which are going to be really beautiful and just give, um, give, give give the whole kebab a really nice poppy taste. You need a poppy taste, right? Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm just uh, mesmerized by how fast you're going. Look at that, there he is. There we go. There so he you know, is. The problem that I've got here, right, is um, the, uh, like this board is a little bit slippy and ah, I didn't want to cut my finger, so. I see. There we go. Anyway, right, I'm gonna pop these in here now, Henry. Uh, okay, cool. Very good, Number and we're three. gonna be good. There you go. Nice, nice, nice. On the top. And that we can put to one side now, guys, because this is ready for when we eventually get round to serving our kebabs, which we are now going to show you how to make. We've had a few people asking um, about which book this is from. Ooh. Uh, so this is from our Speedy Bosch book. That was just announced. It's just been announced. It's coming out in September. So if you do want to grab a copy of that, Kathy will pop a little link in the comment on YouTube and Facebook. And um, do, by all means, go grab a copy. It's loads of recipes, over 140 recipes, and they are all 20 minutes or faster. So, like, I mean, we made a millionaire's shortbread in 20 minutes. I mean, that's mad. And it's honestly incredible. So if you do want to grab a copy, please do. Thank you for that question, whoever it was. 
and um, keep your questions coming. We'll slot them in at the nice little moments and we'll do another Q&A toward the end as well. While Ian is just setting up that deck, uh, yeah, the, getting everything the deck nicely is balanced. Bro, the, the deck is nicely set up now. How, how are we on side camera? Side camera. Oh, oh, should I, should, should, I'll cock it just once. No, 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 it's cool. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Uh, yeah, thanks for being with us, guys. This is our kitchen, basically. If you, <laughs> if you are wondering, we live together as well as our housemates. So we are social distancing and we're cooking lives from our kitchen. And that's why it's a bit rough and ready. And today's live is all about tofu satay kebabs. We've made the satay, we've made the thing that the tofu is going to sit inside and now we're going to show you how to marinate this wonderful tofu. Okay, so what we've got here is some corn flour or cornstarch. There's four tablespoons of it and it's just going to go into the bowl like so. Okay, it's got a really weird consistency that stuff. It's like quicksand. Yeah, it's very, very odd. It looks like it's like bad for you. Yeah, it does, look, it does look great, does it? But it is great and it's gonna make the skin of the tofu really crispy. Uh, next up, we have got some, very, very simple, we've got some sriracha sauce that we used before. This stuff we use all the time, we love it, it's fantastic. Um, it comes in a red bottle with a green top and they are designed to look like a chili pepper. Really? That's right. Wow. How cool is that? Mind blown. Where, where did you find out that fact? Oh man, on one of my digital expeditions. Oh, just, you mean when you went down the rabbit hole? Yeah, yeah, just start mining through all of uh, the, the, like the wealth of information that happens to be upon the internet. Wow. Now, lime. Again, lime, it, this is a very Thai um, influenced dish and what we're going to do is squeeze the juice of two limes into this together. Okay, so that's good. There's one. Sorry, this takes a little bit of time and it, it's good. Say so if you're a climber, I wonder if climbers um, are better lime juicers. I bet their limes are always juicier than the regular person. Must be, and, and needing bread. <laughs> yeah, their the bread is always a lot tastier. Yeah. So the, the moral of that story is if, um, if a climber ever offers to make you a loaf of bread, say yes, because it will be super tasty. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there we go. We've got, um, we've got lime in there, we've got sriracha in there, we've got cornstarch in there, and now this is soy sauce. Okay, the soy sauce is gonna go in there nice and easy. Now I need a fork. And also, another thing about forks, should we tell them how many forks we've got in this house? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, it, this is ridiculous. Like, considering what we do for a living, there are five forks in this house. There's like a thousand knives, a thousand spoons, but five forks. God knows where they all go. It makes no sense. Yeah. Um, here, and here, watch this now. We're just going to mix this together, okay? To form a marinade that's going to coat the tofu really, really nicely. So we're just going to do that. Boom. Uh, it's so weird, it's, it kind of sticks to the bottom of the pan, uh, the bowl rather. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch. Yeah, it's a bit, um, it smells really good as well. It's obviously yeah. got spice, it's got that citrus, it's a bit salty. And uh, that um, cornstarch is gonna do its due diligence. It's gonna make it happen. Right, that's good. Now, the main event. So um, while Ian's getting the main event all prepped and ready, we've had a question from some of you about uh, alternatives to saute, or actually, more specifically, alternatives uh, to nuts or peanuts. Um, so you could obviously, I, I guess you've got a question about seeds versus nuts. So if seeds are an option, you have, you could use seed paste. You yeah. could try the tahini. Tahini's a great um, one. Uh, so like a sesame seed paste. You could try it with, um, some people aren't allergic to almonds because they mm. are technically a seed. Mm. Um, so th there's a couple of options for you. Yeah, um, but to be honest, without like, we don't want to give you too much uh, kind of information there because we don't want you to make the wrong choice. So yeah, stay exactly. safe. Yeah. <laughs> take, take your health into your own hands, please. Uh, be safe, but also eat tasty food. We've shown you this. Uh, now, obviously, this is tofu week for these Bosch Lives, and we've seen these before. This is a tofu press. Um, it, we are not sponsored by the brand, don't worry about that. And the idea here is that it presses firm tofu. And in here is we have some pre-pressed firm tofu. Okay, I'm going to take that um, firm tofu presser away because you know how to use it. I'm going to pop it down there. And now we're going to chop this into batons. Super easy. Right, so straight down. It's funny because today's tofu batons are like, so some blocks of tofu are a lot, a lot thicker than others. This is particularly thin. So we're going to have thin batons here, mm. which is a bit annoying. Because <laughs> we want more. Okay, so we're after six, yeah? So there's one, two, three, Four, oh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's see what I mean. Uh, I should just do that a skinny one at the end there. Okay. 
Right, so while you're chopping that in, mm -hmm. I've had a question uh, from Kathy about whether we could repeat the measurements of the sauté um, for people who are following along. So I could just read them out, shall I? Yes, you can. Shall I do um, that? Or I could, yeah. For, When's for, a good for, moment for the, to do that? For the satay, I think, do you know what? Um, it was three tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter, one teaspoon of Chinese white rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of um, soy sauce, there was one lime in there as well. Uh, give me two seconds, or yeah. give Henry two seconds. What did you say? One lime. One lime, three tablespoons of crunchy peanut butter, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of sriracha, one teaspoon of Chinese vinegar, and 30 milliliters of water. There you go. There we go. go. <laughs> but the water, obviously, you know, it, it's, that's to flesh out, change the, the consistency, so you may not need that water. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna marinate our tofu really quickly. So in here, we've got our, um, uh, paste that we made and we're just going to roll this around like this okay super easy make sure it's all well covered and it will sit in there for like you know for well not very long because we're, we haven't got very long to, 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 to mess around but the idea is that we just put all of that in there like so make sure it's all nice and covered how are we doing on the side cam Side is it, yeah, that's there. good. So Kat has got that cut now for when she's making her recipe video, which you'll be seeing on Bash TV real soon. So that's that's good. So now I'm going to shift this away. I'm going to keep this because we need that, and then I'm going to bring our uh, cooker into play. Amazing. Okay. Ready? Exciting times. Oh, it's exciting times. If you have just joined us, this is uh, Bosch Live. You're in the kitchen with Ian and me, Henry. I'm uh, handling the tech. Um, this is something we've been doing for the last two weeks. Hopefully you've been cooking along with us. Do let us know if you're enjoying it, if you're cooking along. Uh, we're live on Facebook and YouTube. And there's also just one camera on Instagram as well. So uh, hopefully you're getting the multi-camera experience. And if you are enjoying it on Instagram, then just chill out, think about where you are, and maybe you wanna come see us on YouTube or Facebook next time for all of the cameras. But yeah, if you want to cook along with us, we're going to be here all week and you can find the ingredients on our website www.boshtv.com Bosh.tv uh, Right, so let's have a look at the pan on the side cam Side right, cam! I'll, I'll get that um, jolted up just a touch Top cam looks nice yeah, That's looking decent Oh, there we go. Uh, that's looking pretty cool. I'm just going to move to one side. So and this is, this is what happens when you uh, produce a live four camera TV show from your own home. <laughs> okay, so we've got our pan, we've got it uh, up to speed. I always like to use the back of my hand without touching the metal, just to check to see how hot it is. Now, what we've got here is two tablespoons of um, coconut oil, which is going to add to that Thai flavor. And it's got a really high um, like smoking point. So therefore, it will cook these um, these tofu batons really, really quickly. So I'm just going to move that around and just eke out all of the um, the moisture. I, I'm not eking out moisture because it is moisture. It's just to transform it. Transform it into the magic heat. That's liquid. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So here we go. It's uh, it's looking good. I mean, this like tell me that this isn't vegan lard. Basically, yeah. I mean, it's, it is very high in saturated fat. So yeah. if you're thinking about health, you could choose another oil. Um, like a sesame oil would work for this, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, sesame oil would be really, really good. But then again, a vegetable oil would be pretty cool too. Yeah. Yeah. But we're happy with this, man. This yeah. Is, this is going to taste real good. It's going to taste super, super tasty. Whoa. Okay. Uh, right then, these are pincers, and what we're going to use these for is basically we're going to put our tofu uh, into the pan. Okay, I'm going to do that nice and slowly, one by one. Um, if it starts like spitting at you, the pan is too hot, so turn it right down. The idea is that you want to sort of manage your cook and turn up the heat when everything is already in. Okay, you got that good. So that's good. And I hope you guys um, pressed your tofu beforehand because it makes, it really pays dividends. I'm just going to get a spoon now. And what we're going to do is we're going to spoon on some of this remaining flavour because, like I said, it's it's all flavour. It's all good for you. All right, we're going to pop that in there like so. And now what we do is play a little waiting game. I reckon this is going to take between three to five minutes to cook on all sides. So if you've got any questions, do type them below, and Cat will tell Henry who will ask him and will answer. Them. It's now the time. Is. Producer Kathy. You know, Kathy was getting some love oh, yeah? in the comments uh, yesterday. Okay, good. Yeah, she's, she's, although she's never here anymore, um, people have been loving it. Maybe we should start making like a producer Kathy t-shirt. 
a great idea. Yeah, I'd definitely wear one. 100% I'm wearing one of them. Uh, right, good, here we go. So now just basically, it's just let your eyes do the work, let your ears do the work, just, just monitor the situation, just kind of turn them around, make sure you don't split them up. If they do break off, it doesn't matter. But like I say, if you've got any questions, feel free to fire them over. So I've got a question for you. Ian. Perfect. Um, is there anything we could use here mm -hmm. if someone really, really, really didn't like tofu? If there was, so okay, yes. Now, um, supermarkets over the past few years have got particularly good at making meat replacements, and one of the meats that they replace brilliantly now is chicken. So uh, there's lots of brands out there that will basically recreate chicken with things like seitan or um, uh, rehydrated soya proteins, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. That could work perfectly. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. I guess you could try tempeh. Tis Ooh, hoo -hoo, yes. I mean, it is similar to mm. tofu in that it's still made from soybeans, but it's a different taste, different yeah. texture. Some yeah. people don't like the texture of tofu. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I know. Yeah, it's very true. And um, to be honest, when I first had tofu, I didn't know. I didn't really like it at all. Um, but obviously, as time wears on and the more you cook with it and the more you realise that there's actually a very versatile um, ingredient, you can get good results from tofu, yeah. great results in fact. Absolutely. So we're just going to spin these round. Oh, it's a little bit uh, slippery, so do be careful because obviously that oil is hot, okay? Look at that. Yeah, very good. And it's all, basically, all of this kind of jelly-like substance is the cornstarch that's kind of solidifying, which in turn will turn into a really nice crispy crust, a coating for the tofu finger stuff. <laughs> it's like um, meditative viewing. It is quite meditative. Yeah. And um, a couple of days this week, we have done subbins. But I was like, no, I don't think we should do subbins this time because it's a Speedy Bosch recipe and all the recipes in Speedy Bosch are indeed speedy. So we wanted to do it in real time to show you guys exactly how speedy it is. Nice. So this is, a, this is like, this is as you cook it. So yeah. if you're cooking along at home, um, which you might be, then hopefully it should be fairly straightforward to keep up with us this week. Fingers crossed. And if you've um, eaten any of the dishes that we've cooked so far, be it for the fake away week that we did, um, last week or the tofu week that we're doing this week or the potato week two weeks ago let us know what you thought about the recipes in the comments below and um and let us know if you're enjoying it i'm enjoying it yeah i'm enjoying it too i think it's uh, this, is, this is mightily good fun it's definitely the best way to um to ease our way into the evening at this quarantine time i'm going to turn my little fan on here okay well, how are we doing for time bro uh we are on a 22 minutes past six 22 minutes past six, no, okay. I mean, you know, we're, we're right. chilling. We are chilling to a point, but now I think, um, let me, let me right, so you guys, um, if you're cooking along, you'll know now that this is basically on its way to ready. It's on its way to perfect, it's on its way to done. And um, I think, because we've only got eight minutes left, I think I am going to use the ones that we, um, that, that we made earlier yeah. uh, for our sort of end photo that we have to do before. I think it's high time that they come into play and we wrap this up. Yep, okay. Cool. Sounds good. Nice. I'm going to turn that off. But like I say, guys, if you're cooking at home, make sure that you get these nice and crispy. And they will be really nice and crispy. Don't worry. So by the magic of TV, uh, we'll on. bring in one we made earlier. Yes. So you're looking for a like, nice golden brown outside. Um, and as Ian said, you know, he's kept them pretty light on that, that hob because you don't want them to burn. Um, you want like a little, little gentle bit of dark brown, but not too burny is better. Yes, no burning, no burning allowed. Now, this is what we're after. If you, if you tuned in right at the beginning, you would have seen this um, tray of lovely food and you would have um, you would realized that yeah this is like what it was supposed to look like so we made this earlier on it didn't take it took us bang on 20 minutes i actually timed it and it was really cool so do you want to should we tuck in absolutely i'm in good 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 right then uh, they're a little bit cold but that's fine <laughs> i wonder if there's any housemates who want any food oh here we are uh, if you've tuned in before you will know we live with my fiance mj bodyweight d both of them are on Instagram, so you can go find them at bodyweightd, at mj.makeupartist. Is it still at mj.makeupartist? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so go check them out if you like to, and uh, and yeah, they're going to come and taste the food with us. Mm. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. I think I'm alone now. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, yeah, Darren, um, 
I hear the sound, uh, of, the sound, hear the sound of foot hear the sound of footsteps. So, 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 is there any food around? Yeah. Me and Jared's gonna be here. So, full disclaimer, full disclaimer, guys. We um, this is one that we made earlier, so it's a little bit on the colder side. So, uh, just bear that in mind as you're tucking in. This is the cold one, the hot one. Okay. It's, it's about ten, five minutes from from being ready. I mean, you guys get treated, don't you? Yeah. You do, yes. probably. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right, let's do it. Let me, let me show you how. Yeah, do. show us what we're doing. So we get our um, we get our leaf like this, yeah, and we get a little bit of tofu baton, and then there's two ways to do it. You can either drizzle some of the satay on here, or like I'm just going to do right now, going to dip it in. Oh, look oh that. he's gone in for a dip. And then it's going straight down. <laughs> Yum. Wow, should we eat, eat, I, I, I eat think, one of them? I think I, I, can, I, can, I think I can manage that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was actually wow. real close. Yeah, well, I was actually watching. If you want to drizzle, you can with that. Oh, right, okay, awesome. You Thank can't you. really beat yeah. satay sauce, can you? No, absolutely not. So this is what it feels like to be the Bosch hands. Yeah. You are literally <laughs> right now. You're, <laughs> you're the the Bosch hands. Hands. I feel like I've got the power. Right. I've got the power. Right. Um, so. I was just thinking, right, so you know how we have curry sauce on chips in this country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did satay sauce on chips never become a thing? Oh, oh man, that would be so good. That is a Bosch recipe. No. Satay on chips. Here he goes. After you, MJ, come on. Thanks, darling. Step up. Deez. Wow. They're big bits of tofu, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good, yeah. So we could do that. Do you yep. put some, do you, oh, you can, red chilies? Oh, yeah, you can, you don't, if you don't want them. Uh, that's all um, good. So that's the satay sauce that we made from scratch. Lots oh, of peanut yeah. butter. You don't want chilies? Yeah. yeah, but there was quite a few in there. Yeah, there was quite a few. And then I'm we've got some like... spring onions. And also these, um, these are a, a roast, peanuts? dry roasted peanuts, yeah. And a bit of lime. And if you want to get oh, lime. look at that. Yeah, this one's got well. in. Yeah. I feel like that. I went for the basic version. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know, you that, were just that, starving, weren't you? That, 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 I'll do mine quickly. Oh, you're going to Super speedy, so we don't lose the buttons. Speedy Bosch. I love the saute, so I'm going to get that all oh, over there. Yeah, the saute yeah, is amazing. He has gone all Springers in there. Springers on there, let's get some yeah. peanuts on there. Dry roasted yeah. peanuts. <laughs> Dry roasted? Dry roasted, wow. baby. Revolutionary. And oh, could you that. have this cold as well? Obviously, we're having it cold, so. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> hopefully you can. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean. You won't be here right, tomorrow. Sh shall we cheers in fact? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to tofu. And making it taste like chicken. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. It's a good thing. Mmm. 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 Nice. That's really nice. Wow. Mmm. I love it with the, the sauté sauce. Mm. Yeah, it's just. Mm. So you've got the like peanutty flavour of the sauté. You've got that acidity of the lime, yeah, which I think is so important to get on there. Spring onions give that pepperiness, and it's really nice wrapping that all in that lettuce. Yeah, because it's just so fresh. It as is. Well. Very fresh. Yeah. yeah, I mean you could wrap it in something else, but I think lettuce is definitely the best idea. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, like, it's kind of like the opposite of yesterday's, because yesterday we had the, not the opposite, but I mean we had it in the baguette, mm. which was like quite yeah. filling, and <laughs> where now we've got it in the lettuce, which is very fresh. Exactly. Mm. Fitness. So, and you, you did yeah. actually say that you wanted, uh, yesterday you said... Um, I wanted to finish it. Yeah, but also you were saying obviously it's like quite bready. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. whereas this now you get straight to the taste. Mm. Mm. That's, just, That's a good yeah. point actually, yeah. You can really taste everything yeah. here because it goes straight through. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. awesome. That's good. delicious. It makes me I, like tofu. Seal of approval. Making you like yes. tofu. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's a turn, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah, wow. it's an improvement. No. Nope. I'm oh. going to give it an eight. Eight out of ten. So okay. eight. Okay, okay, eight out of ten. Is that good? Yeah, uh, you, you sound and say it like it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> eight. 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 Only because it's so, there's other things that we have which are amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This is really tasty, but that's incredible. Yeah. Well, thanks. <laughs> Send <it> to me. <laughs> 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 it's it's you gotta be honest. You gotta be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's true. So I'm gonna give it my body weight D seal of approval, which is delicious. Yeah. Yay! Just a straight up. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We will serve you some more in about five minutes. Yeah, I'm going to finish that other one that's yeah. cooking away in the pan. And if you guys missed it, this is our tofu satay kebabs. It's a brand new recipe from our brand new cookbook, which is coming out in September. It's called Speedy Bosch. It's available to pre-order right now. Cat, hopefully, will put a link in the box below. 
Yeah, hopefully. I'm sure she has. Uh, she's in my ear, so she's, she's like going to feed us a couple of questions now, uh, so we can answer some in a Q and A. Yeah. But while we wait for that, another question: uh, What would you like to eat this with? Do you reckon? Um, I mean, I quite like the idea of that. Mm. On a bed of kind of fried rice with this, with a little bit more um, water in it, sort of drizzled over the top. Nice. So it will be like a, a really kind of like high piled um, tofu rice dish. Yes. That's what I would think. Nice. I would like it. But nice. obviously this is bloody marvelous as well. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. As, I, as Ian said, it's satay. I love satay. One of my favourite things to eat. And you combine it with the lime. You combine it with the crunchiness of the nuts. This is. I can't believe MJ gave it an eight. I know. I give this a nine point five. Yeah. To be honest. So it's, um, it's yeah. solid. It's solid. And it's yeah. fun. And uh, you know, it's it's got like three separate techniques you see in there. Um, the satay sauce on its own is just wonderful. Nice. So yeah, it's good. Um, yeah. One more question. So, what was the reason that we both went vegan? Hmm. Okay. Well, first things first. I went vegan because um, I watched a movie called Earthlings, which shocked me to my core, and mm. I decided to to, to to trial vegetarianism, and then vegetarian vegetarianism led to veganism, and that was on the first of March, twenty fifteen, and it's easily the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, and for me, it was a uh, cowspiracy. So Ian had already gone uh, vegan about a month before. I thought that was ridiculous, <laughs> and then uh, we watched Cowspiracy together, and my jaw just dropped learning about the environmental impact. Uh, so that was why I went vegan and why we started Bosch. Yeah, but it's definitely the best thing ever. If you're on the fringes of veganism and you're thinking about dipping your toe in, jump straight in. It's going to be one of the best things you ever do. Um, so on that note, we will wrap up. Yeah. This is this has been live on Facebook and YouTube yeah. and Instagram. We hope you've enjoyed this. Yeah. Um, do join us again tomorrow. We'll be back at 6 p.m. Yeah, we've got another wonderful recipe. Oh, a really sweet wonderful sour, yeah. sweet and sour. It's going to be crispy. It's going to be Moorish. It's going to be sticky. You are going to love it. Yeah, absolutely. So do check on Bosch.tv for the ingredients. Come join us. Um, we'll be hanging out same time tomorrow. And if you're not already subscribed or liking our page, do do that and hit the notification thing so that you can be notified whenever we go live. Okay, guys, I'm going to go slowly da -da -da -da. away from the camera and then I'll just do a kind of awkward dance here press and live oh I could just press, press black press and live press and live bye see what I did there <laughs> and see you later you buggers bye bye